When you think about it, one of the best ways to add power to your car is to use either a supercharger or a turbocharger, especially on a V8 vehicle like what we're sitting in right now. And today I'm gonna to be showing you my turbocharged 2003 Mercury Marauder. All right guys, welcome to the channel and I'm gonna be explaining to you just how I turbocharge my 2003 Mercury Marauder. This car has been on the channel before and basically it was just um, some bolt-on upgrades and um, I don't even know if I should really call them bolt-on because it, um, it had 410 gears that are still in it now. It had a build 4R70W transmission and it had a SCT X4 tuner with just that um, that base tone that comes on the tuner and that's about it and it ran really good that way it ran extremely well because it's the four valve motor that comes with the Cobra or comes in the Mach 1 Mustang of the 2003 year but now we have a GT45 turbo on it we have a wastegate blower valve intercooler um, air to fuel ratio gauge boost gauge there's all of these things that we installed and I didn't record any of it so I'm gonna give you guys an update on the just the way that the car is now because it still doesn't run too good because I have to order a custom tune and get it sent out to me so that I can put it on with my SCT X4 tuner but I'm gonna give you guys a walk around of what I did and how we did it um, none of this is actually part of a kit there's no turbo charging kit for a 2003 Mercury Marauder as far as I'm aware of because I searched it before we started this we actually had to um, cut the full exhaust out and basically weld a pipe that bends back underneath the car and comes back to the front of the car on the right side and take out the right side wheel well that's actually what you see in the back there right right now um, just so we have space to put that big turbocharger uh, I bought a t4 turbo flange just to weld onto the top of a pipe so that my turbo can bolt down directly to it and uh, the welds aren't too pretty but I know they're gonna work um, so let me get to showing you the under the hood section now so that you get a, a better idea of how we did it and how you might could copy this or you might could recreate this for yourself. Okay, so this is the view of under the hood and this is the GT45 turbocharger that we put on it and the exhaust just comes out the fender. The oil feed, that's the first thing we're going to talk about. The oil feed comes from the top of the turbo, runs down to the, basically underneath the motor where the oil pressure sensor sits and i put a t in it and ran it from the oil pressure switch the oil drain was a bit tricky i had to loose the mounts of the motor jack up the motor and take the oil pan off and cut a hole in the back of it and weld a, a small set of tubing into the side of it so that we can have an oil drain um upgrades before we get any further this is a MAF from a 2003 Mustang Cobra also those are injectors from a 2003 Cobra let me see if I can focus on those the blue ones I can't really remember the pounds they run right now but I know they are the better ones for boost because that Cobra comes supercharged now the GT45 is a big turbo but it's actually a small turbo when it comes to turbocharging a V8 so it's gonna spool pretty quick uh, for fuel pump we have a I think it's a Focus SVT fuel pump, just to make sure we got that pressure. No extra um, or aftermarket fuel pressure regulator, um, because the stock regulator should be fine. That's at least based on what the tuner said. Uh, if you look, we have a lot of stuff uh, just strapped up on the side. Um, this turbocharging of my Marauder was just an experiment, so it's not completely um, done yet we had to relocate a lot of the wiring on the inside and we just have a tie strap so that it doesn't fall on the tire because like I said we had to remove that plastic wheel well what all this stuff used to sit on before actually the battery had to be relocated to the back seat because right where the turbo sits is where the battery is supposed to sit 
So let me give you a full view of how it looks now under the hood. The intercooler, the intercooler, I, I'm not really sure what the specs are on the intercooler, but it's pretty low to the ground. And even the exhaust I get scraping because uh, there's a small tire on the front of the car. I'm gonna beef up those tires at least to give me a little bit more clearance. But let me see if I can get you a shot of the headers. I didn't actually weld this up myself. My friend Shane did most of the welding on it. Uh, basically, we had a lot of problems with the cats getting them out. We had uh, broken bolts coming out of that header. So there was a lot of modifications and a lot of things needed to be done just to get this to work. And the exhaust itself is pretty low because like I said, it uh, comes from the header and goes back down underneath the car, joins into one collector. Let me show you where it joins into one. It joins into one right there. Let's see if I could get the focus on that. Right there. Let me get you a better view. That's the wastegate. And that's the where the two pipes join into one. And like I said, you can see that it's pretty low. So you need to beef up these front tires to make sure you get that clearance. Um, this took quite a while to get done just because there is no kit. So you have to fabricate every single part of this yourself. Uh, also, like I said, there's no tune on it right now. So even if I start it up for you guys, which I will, uh, it's going to run pretty bad. And it just, I think when you stomp on it, it cuts out completely. And uh, when you drive it slowly, it doesn't go over like 3,000 RPM. You don't get any boost, anything like that, because like I said, the map is for the stock um, Mercury Marauder, and we have a different map that is for boost from the 03 Cobra and different injectors. So everything needs to be retuned and then come back at it and continue adding boost. Now, I want this to be as reliable as possible so i'm gonna run about seven pounds on it and hopefully i could daily that and get a good amount of use out of the car the trickiest part was over here at the um, air intake i had to cut the stock intake and use a math housing from a, a older mustang like a 96 and i had to leave the math in it because it would be a big gaping hole if i didn't and then that's how I connected all these pipes down to my intercooler. Most of these pipes are actually mixed match. Like I said, we put this kit together ourselves. Um, there is an HKS blow off valve down there that I can't get uh, um, can't get on camera. It's pretty tight under the bumper. But now looking at it, if I was to do it again, I'd probably buy a complete three inch intercooler kit just because of how big and massive that turbo is and how much air she's gonna push into the motor. But um, other than that, this is where we are with the Marauder. She still needs to paint, still needs to clean up. But this is basically where we are with her now. All right guys, excuse this mess. Like I said, we just got done putting this together and I just drove it home. The car is still full, filled with old parts and stuff that I use to turbocharge it. This is not going to be the final mounting point for the boost gauge. That's just where I have it sitting because there's a hole that I could put one of its studs into that it wouldn't move to, around too much. My AFR gauge is actually in the stock oil pressure housing. It fit perfectly in case anyone was wondering how I got that in there. Um, that stock oil pressure gauge actually was a dummy gauge so it doesn't really matter that I took it out. The volt gauge does work, but let me show you guys how it runs. Get the keys. Okay, just start it up. Let's take a look outside.
So basically when it comes to my 2003 Marauder, that's about it. That's as far as I am right now. If you guys are interested in continuing to follow this build, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video on this thing. I believe it's one of a kind. Um, any other videos that I've seen with the turbocharged Marauder has been from, I think they say it's a PTK kit and it's no longer um, available to be bought. Everyone that got one when those guys were making those kits are holding on to them. And um, this way, anyone on YouTube could do this. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, you could also follow um, any other guide online that turbocharged these uh, four valve motors. They've done it a lot in Mustangs, but never in the 03 Mercury Marauder. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.